Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Chapel Chaos. I'm Mahaley and today we're going to be talking about homeschool mom self-care. Um, this is a collaboration hosted by Shauna over at Homegrown Homeschool and Devine at Calm in the Chaos Homeschool. So make sure you check out their channels as well as the playlist listed below because I know lots of mamas are going to have amazing advice to give you guys. Um, also ignore that hole in the wall. I don't know what happened. We're just going to roll with it. Uh, so make sure you guys also drop me some comments in the comment section below. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. I love hearing from you guys. So let's get started. I thought of three homeschool mom self-care tips that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, because there's going to be so many. There's so many I could have think of. I could have thought of. But I limited myself to three. And these are my top three. So I'm going to share those with you guys today. Um... So number one, socialize. Don't hole up in your house at your kitchen table. Never leave. Never talk to anyone. Don't do that. It's bad for your mental health normally, but especially I feel like as a homeschool mom, if you're not socializing, if you don't have some kind of support system, whether that's here on YouTube or out in your world, it's the mental aspect, mental health aspect of it is going to eat you alive. And that is coming from personal experience. That is a bad idea. Get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Socialize. Find your village. Find some friends. Um, and not just in the homeschool aspect. In general, homes, like, find homeschool village. Find your homeschool friends. Yes. But also find, um, somebody just pulled up in my driveway. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. My neighbor pulled up and it's coming a storm now. So it's really dark. Um, <laughs> anyway, so socialize, not just in your homeschool community. Find some friends outside of that too, because you don't need your whole life to revolve around homeschooling. Um, you need a life outside of homeschooling. You need to remind yourself that you're a person. Um, brings me to point number two. <laughs> Remember that you are a person. That means you're not just a mom, you're not just a wife, you're not just a homeschool parent who teaches your children all the time. Get up and do something for yourself. Get up and go get your hair done. Go get your nails done. If you can't afford that, just go walk around Dollar Tree. Go walk around Target. Go walk around Walmart. But do something for yourself. By yourself. Yes, your kids and your family comes first, but you have to remember that you're a human being too. So treat yourself as one. Give yourself grace. Don't be so hard on yourself. You're a human being too. And human beings make mistakes. We have bad days. And we deserve to give ourselves the same grace that we give others. Tip number three. Every day, make time for you. Even if it's 15 minutes of reading in the morning, 15 minutes of reading in the afternoon, sitting on your porch by yourself, um, drinking your coffee, sitting, going for a walk, um, taking a hot bath by yourself without the kids bothering you, whatever it is, whatever it is, take a few minutes for you every day. So, because it's so easy to forget to do that. You're so focused on everybody else all day. Have they ate lunch? Have they done this? Have we done this? Um, is so-and-so feeling better is, you know, you're focused on everybody else. So take 15 minutes to yourself, even if it's just sitting in the quiet, doing nothing, scrolling social media, if that's what you want to do, take 15 minutes for yourself. Um, so yeah, those are my top three homeschool mom self-care tips. Again, this is a collaboration hosted by Devine and Shauna, and they are both amazing. Shauna is a very good friend of mine. And I absolutely adore both their channels so much. They are always a wealth of knowledge and advice. So make sure you check out their channels as well as the playlist with this um, collaboration listed below. Bye, guys.